And the purpose of today is that we want to break down some of the steps in creating a recipe and focus in on the ingredients and the equipment. Okay, just kind of slow things down. Um, good cooks, they just real fast automatically read and make decisions about things. So because you're first starting out, I want to break it down real slow. Okay, and we're going to start that off with, um, uh, it's called a think aloud, uh, where I'm going to kind of go through the process of what I do when I read recipes. And you're going to take some notes on this grid I gave you or on these squares. Um, and I'll do that with pancakes because we all are familiar with the pancakes. And then we're going to flip that paper over and as a table you're going to do the same process that I'm going to show you and we're going to do that with the snickerdoodle recipe. Okay, so you should have that card in your folder. Okay, all right, and then we're going to do a pear activity where I'm going to have you come up here to this basket, grab one of these, and then sit and do this assignment kind of together. Because typically this is how recipes look here, okay? They are just written in one big paragraph. At step one, it says, in a medium-sized mixing bowl, combine the egg, the milk, and the cooking oil. Okay, so that I know for that first step, I'm going to grab one egg, three-fourths cup of milk, and two tablespoons of the oil. Okay. Now here's the thing, here's the thing with reading, and it, we talked about um, equipment, that equipment is, there's a lot of stuff that's implied, because the only thing it tells me to do is to get a medium sized mixing bowl, so that's the only piece of equipment they're telling me to use. Okay, so thinking out loud, okay, I know that I'm going to need some other stuff to measure this. So in my mind, I'm thinking, well, if I have to measure three-fourths cup milk, I'm going to need my liquid measuring cup to do that. Together as a table, okay, talk together, but I want you to flip this paper over. And I want you to do the exact same thing I just did, but would you do this with the snickerdoodle recipe that we made? Now, when I say you're doing this as a group, are you doing this by yourself? No, I want you to talk, okay? Talk to each other, okay? And come up with, uh, you know, the, the steps here, all right? And the focus, again, the focus on this is ingredients and equipment. We need at least two per table, so like the buddies. Medium onions chopped. Yeah, medium onions chopped. The one for... Alright, what's the equipment mixing bowl? Medium mixing bowl. Two garlic gloves, um, cloves, C-L-O-V-E-S, mints, like chopped up into like itty bitty pieces. And two, two tablespoons of butter. And then, what else? Then we put like, when we're using cups and, we, that's on the next one, equipment. The liquid first, I mean, the equipment first. The cake first. Whatever. Okay. Is it second step? You need the oven. No. Okay. This is the first step. Turn on the oven. Pepper. One teaspoon of salt. No. The oven. One teaspoon. Three. Twenty. One. Two. Three. 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 Two.
and jot down and again use our prompts. Um, today I learned or things that helped me learn today, things that were easy for me or things that were difficult for me or new words that I learned this week. Fill that out for what we've just done, okay, as part of this process. Also include the emotional side to it. How did you feel today? Let me have one or two of you share out what the whole class, what you wrote in your learning log. Today I learned like how to um, put stuff in order, like on my own, if it doesn't say it right in the little ingredients thing, and like know where to put it and know what to use and stuff. Today we learned how to read recipes and break them down into simple instructions.